Sister Season 6 finale. Let's get into this recap. Alright y'all, so we start this recap off with Sour Patch Danny, who is still salty over the fact that Preston went back down that country road to the courthouse and married Mandy. So she was still on the phone with Sabrina, and Sabrina is like, oh my god, this tea is too hot. When did Preston have the time to go and get married? And Danny is like, well, obviously that's what he wanted to do. Now, not only did Preston send her a picture, he also sent her a message, and he said, you made your decisions and I made mine. You are blocked from my phone and out of my life. Period, Preston. Let it be known. Nail in the coffin. So, Sabrina trying to be supportive. She like, oh my God, Danny, are you okay? I know you really liked him. And Danny gonna say, well, he's made it very clear. No, you made it clear. He just made it clearer for you. So, Sabrina like, so what are you gonna do? And she says she is going out with Tony and she gonna have herself a great time. Well, sis, you do that because I'm sure Preston is having him a great time with his new wife. So, some time has went by, and y'all know our good sister Brenna got a check on Danny. So, she called her to make sure that she was okay. And Danny is like, yes, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. And Sabrina, like, I could tell you hurt by your voice. And Danny is like, you treat me like I'm 18, I'm good. So, Sabrina knows that Danny is going out with Tony and Sabrina and Rich going out too. So, Sabrina want to make it a double date. And Danny is like, no, we need this night for ourselves. And Sabrina like, girl, do not sleep with him on the first date. Don't ruin a good thing. I got a good feeling about him. And Danny said, baby, she is grown. She going to do what she want to do. So Sabrina like, okay, well, I'm going to just come to your house in a minute. And Danny said, you do not need to come to my house, child. No need. But y'all know Sabrina going to go over there anyway. Now, y'all know we could not go one episode without seeing Tony because anytime Danny is there, Tony is around somewhere. And they still at work and he walked up to her and she was getting ready to leave. And, of course, he offered to walk her out and she was like, no, I'm good. So, of course, he want to talk about the upcoming date and he like, girl, I'm going to put on my good suit for you. I'm taking you somewhere nice. And he tells her, like, Rich and Sabrina going out, he wanted to make it a double date, but I told him no. And Danny was like, yeah, I told Sabrina no too because I want you all to myself you know some other things might go down tonight girl we know you're ready to sling that hot pocket and tony said that he is ready he got a full deck of cards now i know danny wished that she would have let tony walk her out because soon as she walked out she seen her car windows busted out and baby she got snatched up but like i said i think that tony is gonna come save the day because like i said whenever danny is around he is not too far away now let's get into the TEE at the law firm. Gary has popped up on Andy and Penelope while they was talking and he was like, what y'all doing? And Andy was like, we finna go to my office. And Gary was like, okay, let's go. And Andy was like, you not going with us. And he was like, I'm not finna let y'all two talk. Mm. And he was like, I'm here to see my lawyer. And Penelope is like, okay, she really don't want to talk to him. So Gary decides to be the narcissist that he is. And he like, please don't let her get in your head, Penelope. I love you. I'm sorry about all this. This woman don't mean nothing to me. I'll make a fool out of myself for you. Now, before he can get too deep into his narcissist, Fatima came up and she was like, um, Gary, yeah, you can go. So Andy and Penelope pip off to the back. And Fatima like, did you not hear me? So Gary was like, Fatima, get out my face. So Fatima got in his face and was like, who the F is you talking to? And he was like, I'm talking to you. And that stuff that you pulled with Hayden with that girl was low down. So Fatima said, low down, nigga, you the lowest nigga on the planet. So he was like, Fatima, get out my face. So Fatima was like, move and you get the F out of my face so he said tell me something Fatima do you like working here and Fatima said dealing with you I don't give a f about this job or prison so he like move Fatima now of course good sis Hayden gotta come say good sis um Gary and he like my client is here to see me and Fatima was like okay that's cool your office is over there that's where y'all need to stay now Gary he just can't stop himself he like Fatima you got a little bulldog in you I like that but y'all know Fatima quick 
chick with the comeback. And she was like, uh-huh, and you keep messing with me, and you're going to find out how she bites. Now, y'all know Hayden got to add his two cents. And he like, Fatima, what I got planned for you, just wait. And she told Hayden, baby, you want to start counting days? You might want to start counting yours now. Baby, I love when somebody talk that talk and can back it up. Hayden, play if you want to. So now we in Andy's office with her and Penelope. And let me just say, I do not like how this conversation started. Andy is like, you know, Penelope, I'm sorry. I know this is hard for you. And she gonna look at Andy and say, do you? Girl, just because you engage with a baby on the way do not mean that you is more hurt than her. So Andy is like, yeah, I'm shocked too. Now here come Penelope with 21 questions. Do you love him? Do you still love him? Do you want to be with him? So Andy is like, yes, I love him, still love him but no I don't want to be with him after this so she like are you sure and Andy is like a thousand percent so Penelope made a whole schedule she got dates and times and she want to know was Andy with Gary on these days so Andy confirmed some of the days and some of the days she was not with him so Penelope was like okay well the days that you weren't with him one of these days I heard a woman in the background and he said it was one of his clients he has been with more women than us so Andy so stupid she's still in denial talking about what well, he got female clients Baby, Penelope, like, girl, that is not it. Do you see this woman? Look at her ring. She got the same ring as us. Gary, are you serious? He must really like that ring. So now Andy, like, you know what? We need to confront this. And Penelope, like, no, 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 we don't need to. And Andy was like, girl, I got this. I'll do all the talking. And she called for team and told her, set it up, baby. Set up this meeting real quick. So we just all around the law firm because now we in the conference room with Hayden and Gary and they like, y'all need to go. And Andy, baby, this is the energy that I needed you to come with from day one because Andy stood on business and she was like, nah, we stand. So Gary talking about what this about. Boy, you know what the hell this about. So Andy like, my new friend Penelope made a schedule. You was with more than just us. So he said, I don't have to answer to you. You don't matter to me. Penelope, you don't only one that mattered to me oh okay that's how you want to do so Fatima is like girl don't fall for this he is playing with you so Hayden is like playing with you how you play with me you know you trash for that right who asked you to talk and he said that he got plans for Fatima he said he gonna get her back and Fatima was like you know what don't let me have you beat up again because that that was just light so he was like oh you admitting that and she was like yeah I'm admitting that so Gary is like Penelope Penelope look at me and Andy was like oh not the famous look at me line and she was like girl and then he gonna be crying and begging just like he used to do me now Gary he cannot just take this L and he like Penelope I was just using her Andy was like, okay, cool. She did not let him finish his sentence. She was like, Penelope, did he tell you about how I met his wife? And for Tima to put the icing on the cake, like, oh my gosh, she is so crazy. And Andy was like, yeah, but I'm starting to realize that he made her that way. So Gary like, are we done? And Andy said, are you done abusing black women? So Gary, he like, Penelope, I love you. I messed up. Look at them. This they life. They run from man to man. This woman don't mean nothing to me. And Andy just stuck the knife in him. She told him, baby, you don't mean nothing to me either. See, after all the stuff you did to me, I decided to wait and use you. I loved you, but after what you put me through, baby, I used you until I found my soulmate. And in the meantime, I got a Rolls Royce, a penthouse, jewelry trips, and everything in between. So thank you for lying, cheating. It just makes it easier for me to say F you. And now Gary don't know what to do. He looking like a little sad puppy. And he like Penelope. Penel, just talk to me. And Penelope said, Gary, go to hell. Baby, get there. Quick, Gary, with gasoline draws on. Y'all thought this saga was over? No, it's not. Because now the girls and the boys have separated. And Andy is like, Penelope, I'm so sorry. And Penelope, like, you know, I just wish I knew I got this baby. I don't know what I'm going to do. Now, Fatima <laughs> come through clutch, and she left her phone in the conference room with Sister Hayden and Sister Gary. And they is talking, and Gary is talking big stuff. He is saying that he really like Penelope. That's who he want to be with, but he don't love her. He only said the stuff that he said to Andy because Penelope found out. And he said that Penelope is weak, so he know that he going to get her back. And then he said that Andy is ran through. 
oh my god he said he bought them all the same rings and he just a pimp he do not care and andy number's like oh my god andy is listening and she should have let penelope hear it but she was like girl you just better off without him and then hayden and gary is in there talking about how they gonna get zach and fatima back but gary said he don't know about the zach part but he want to get fatima back too and then they see the phone so they realize that they've been caught and so they stopped talking and fatima came and got her phone now this is the part that made me mad because andy gonna tell fatima that she was wrong for setting hayden up with the girl and fatima was like yeah i I felt bad about it and she said that she would leave Hayden alone if he leave her alone period Andy shut the hell up because you want Fatima to be a gangster when you want her to be a gangster but you don't want her to be a gangster for herself girl sit this one out now things simmer down and we head over to the salon with Brian, Cameron, and Chelsea who is the realtor that Zach hooked Cameron up with. And she is telling Cameron that she should buy the salon but she want to negotiate the price. Now Brian excused himself right and then Chelsea started talking about how perfect Brian is how he looks so good and he never cheated on his wife how people be trying to tempt him but he stays faithful and Cameron was like okay that's cool right so during the conversation brian has said that he needed to take cameron back to her car so chelsea is like take you back to your car you ain't got no car he usually don't give women rides so he must really really like you and she keep on driving this that brian really really like her mm -hmm. and so she asked Cameron how you know Zach and she was like well I'm pregnant by him and she was like no it wasn't when he was with Fatima if that's what you asking for because this girl Chelsea is nosy as hell and she keep on saying that Brian likes Cameron but I mean we got two asses we know already after a long day at work Fatima makes it home and my baby daddy was waiting on her at the table and he informs her that he want to give Heather a hundred thousand dollars for baby Michael and Fatima was like baby she is a hood rat she gonna want a million dollars and she gonna want more money she gonna keep on coming back that's a temporary fix start with twenty five thousand. but zach mind is made up and he want to go off of her this money so now they go to heather house and they show up and heather is yelling at baby michael to be quiet and do what she's saying da, 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 da. so zach is like can i come in i got money and she like where the money at so he like where the baby can i see him and she was like no where the money at so he like okay i got 25k i'm gonna let you have it and she was like for what and he was like custody of michael and she was like no nah, i'm not doing that so then he gets up to 100k and she was like oh you got 100k in cash you trying to buy him and zach is like no i'm trying to raise him and she was like well i know i can get more i want a million i'm taking you to court and i can get you cursed out and da 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 da, da. so zach is like cool we can do court now Fatima went to the back and she went to the bathroom right and baby Michael is in the tub tied up so Fatima is like Zach come here so Zach is mad he like are you serious like why would you do this and he goes to get baby Michael but Heather tried to stop him and Fatima snatched her up and threw her in the hallway and baby they the kidnap baby Michael child they the kidnap baby Michael and not going into season seven I could see my baby daddy going to jail child <laughs> But anyway, y'all, that was that on that. I will be back next week to do the premiere for Sister Season 7. So come back for that. In the meantime, between time, watch the videos for my other shows. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's have a conversation in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. I will link them down in the description box. And yeah, it's been fun. It's your girl, Senior Renee. And I will see y'all next week. Peace.